Welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to be making a fortune teller. So, to make this fortune teller, you're going to need some paper. I just use this paper because I this is the only paper I can find. So right now I'm going to rip it out. Hang on. Three, two, one, rip. You don't want to rip it out because I just ripped that. Okay. Three, two. Okay, this one's better. Now <laughs> this one's better. Better. So now you're gonna take it and like fold it like this. You're gonna fold it like like this. So you're gonna take this side and fold it until you have a nice little way, and then it's all the way to the bottom. I gotta wait, see if I can balance this perfectly. Let's see if I can do this. I need something higher. I have an idea. Okay, we're gonna. <laughs> wait, now I just get a little like that because I can't just figure out. Anyway. Okay, so you're gonna take this and then take this and then fold it like that. So I'm gonna fold it on the table. Oh Lord. Right now, I'm just gonna fold. Like that, and then you're going to cut this. See this excess? You're going to cut it off. So I'm just going to take my scissors. Be very careful with scissors. Make sure you have an adult. But I do not need an adult because it's untrusted. That, and now we're going to take it and fold it into a even tinier triangle. Because I don't know, I did I just do it because I want to. So now you're gonna fold it into an even tinier triangle, and then you're gonna open it back up, and you're gonna see those four, these four line marks. You're going to take each corner and fold it inwards. Fold each corner in to there, like this. Like this, and then you keep folding until all of them are in. There's this guy that's really fun. And it should look like this. And then you're going to flip it over to the back. And it's going to have these four little squares. You should have four little squares. You're going to fold these corners into the square right there. So I'm just going to fold those down three, two, flip it gently, and then fold it down. Now I'm just going to fold all of the corners in. like that. And then you're going to fold it inwards. Now you're going to take it and fold it inwards. And this is the part that's kind of confusing. You're just going to fold it like this into a little box. And then put your fingers in little slots. You're like, probably like, wait, Olivia, how do you, what is this? What? You're going to have to like take it and bend it a little bit to make it that you're gonna have to like bend it a little bit, like three, two, one, bend it, but like, and then if it like bends in the middle, it's fine. And then later you can just like that, and then there you go. It's a fortune teller. Mine's not perfect, but it's a bar. And then once you do that, you're going to take it and then don't do it like that. And we're gonna draw a color on each of those. So, I'm going to do 
Actually, I'm going to make a friend this time. So to make sure you're drawing the eyes where they need to be, you're going to slide your fingers in, uh, in there. And then, like, let your fingers find its way. Remember, you have to mm, fold it a little bit. So, fold to do like that. Put your fingers. And just, oh my god, I've been doing it so badly. I'm pretty sure mine's about to break. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to poke it backwards. So I'm going to draw eyes here. I'm going to just draw the eyes to like a little friend. My friend is going to have a limited. No, it's not gonna have a limit. I am just gonna draw this. Now I'm trying to do this as fast as possible. There. Now I'm going to make him a mustache because I want a mustache and a little eyebrows. Here's my friend. Hi, my name is Harry. Do you want to be my friend? Hi, my name is Harry. Do you want to be my friend? Do you want to be my friend? And then, yeah. But if you want to make a fortune teller, um, that would be my next video. Stay awesome, stay sweet, stay awesome, stay, like, fantastic. And see you guys next time. Bye.